What's up? Welcome to the show. My name's Kale. Hey, I couldn't sleep because I've been thinking all day about this crazy day in the markets. Bitcoin has gone on an absolute tear and altcoins are pretty much looking like crap. Like Ethereum didn't really go up. Polkadot is doing okay. AVAX is doing, is went down. You know, like all these altcoins are basically down against Bitcoin. And you guys know that I'm basically just making this channel as my own personal diary. I'm basically just putting out all of my trades. I put my altcoins out here on the table. This is exactly what I'm holding right now. So you guys can see all, my entire portfolio Portfolio is right here for everyone to freaking see so you guys can literally see all my dirty laundry and you can see that we're down six percent today which doesn't make me feel good you know like I'm an actual human being too right so I want to know you know what is going to happen with this right are the altcoins just going to get crushed is Bitcoin just going to go up forever and altcoins are never going to go up this cycle like I'm starting to get stressed out right and so I knew that if I was getting stressed out that I was thinking about selling my altcoins and putting them into Bitcoin that I needed to figure this out once and for all and tell you because you are probably thinking the same same thing, right? You're like, maybe I should just drop my money and sell it into Bitcoin. But what I have learned is that you should not do that. Okay. I'm going to make the camera bigger. Please do not sell your Bitcoin right now. And, or please do not uh, sell your altcoins and put them into Bitcoin right now. Please, for the love of God, I have finally figured it out. I've stressed about it all day, but I figured it out. Okay. So I just wanted to come down here and film this. Pay attention. This is going to, ch this is going to be the difference between life-changing money, this bull run and pussy money. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. And, and crap money, this, um, <laughs> this uh, bull run. Wow, that threw me off. Okay, so I stole this 100% from this video today. So if you just want to watch this video, go ahead. This is crypto banter. They're incredible. But uh, I think it's it's kind of hard to understand what they're saying. I had to watch it three times and I'm a really smart guy. Okay, so I want to explain it a little bit more simply for you. It's the second time I filmed the video because I want to actually make this clear because this is one of the craziest things that I've ever seen. Okay, so let's let's explain the charts. Pay attention. This is important. Right now you're thinking, oh my gosh, Bitcoin is just ripping. All the altcoins suck. Should I just sell my altcoins? They're all down against Bitcoin. This is so stupid. I freaking hate this. Okay. Listen to me. Okay. There are three charts we're going to look at. You can pull these up on your own. Number one is called total. Total is the total market cap for crypto. That is all the cryptocurrencies combined. Does that make sense? Okay. This chart looked familiar to you, right? We went up in, in uh, September of, or er, excuse me, this chart, go back all the way here, right? We went all the way up here to $65,000 Bitcoin. The market went crazy and then we crashed all the way back down. Now we went up back here a little bit. We crashed down to 40K. Now we're, we're, we're about to breach this area right here. You guys can see that the all-time high for the crypto market cap is 2.57 trillion. You guys got that? 2.57 trillion. You need to keep that in your memory because that's something you could pull up on an app at any moment throughout the day, okay? Very important number. I, I could draw a line here. I can maybe draw a line. I'm, this is my first line I've ever drawn on the channel because I, I try not to draw lines because <laughs> I don't want to be one of those guys, but that's the most important line in crypto right now. Do you see that? Like, I don't, I don't know what you need to do, but you need to watch that line. Okay. Once we cross that line, some shit is about to pop off. Okay. The second chart is called total two, total two, total two is the crypto market cap minus Bitcoin. Makes sense. Every, every coin, Ethereum, all of them, ADA, all of them, but not Bitcoin, okay? Same thing here. The line is up here. We got up this high before, and that is the all-time high, 1.5 trillion, okay? Remember that number. Okay, the last one is total three. Total three is everything besides Bitcoin and Ethereum. Makes sense? You're just you're just getting rid of the top two big dogs, and, and the lines are looking similar. The total market cap of that is 965 billion is the all-time high, okay? So those are the three charts. Those are the three all-time highs. Now, why does this matter? Now, I'm gonna go over to the crypto banter chart because they did a perfect job. And you're probably looking at this chart and you're thinking, wow, this looks this looks familiar. But one thing I will show you, if I can zoom in on is can you guys see this big enough? I'm gonna make it, try to make it bigger. Okay. Yep, perfect. Okay. You really need to see this. This is the most important chart in crypto right now. Okay. These notice how these dates are 2017. Wow. These are 2017. Okay. These three charts, I'll explain what these are. They're a little bit different than the last ones. Pretty much the same though. Okay. This is just the Bitcoin chart, the Bitcoin price up here. The middle one is that total one chart, right? Bitcoin or total market cap minus Bitcoin. Just stick with me here. It's not that complicated. Okay. And the last one is Bitcoin dominance, which basically means how much Bitcoin is dominating the other coins. Okay. Are you guys with me? Gotcha. Okay. These dates are from September of 2017. Notice how this sounds familiar. We have a dip in September in the Bitcoin price. You guys see this? I'm going to have, I can actually draw on this. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo, you guys thought it, you guys, I'm pretty fancy. We have a dip in the chart right here in September. I'm gonna zoom in just, just for you blind people out there. 
This is the Bitcoin price. This sounds pretty familiar, right? It dips in September, and then in October, it starts to turn around for the Bitcoin price. Does that sound familiar? Does that sound like where we are right now, right here? Does that sound like where we are? Maybe we're gonna head to, to about 64K. Does that sound about familiar? Sounds pretty familiar to me. Okay, let's go down. On this chart, so you so, so while Bitcoin is rallying in October, right? This is about October, Bitcoin is rallying. During this, during this, you have all coins that are basically going sideways. Same exact time frame. Oh, that's kind of annoying, right? I bet the people in 2017 were thinking, damn, I should probably sell my altcoins. They're just going sideways and put them into Bitcoin, right? Obviously, that makes total sense, right? Wrong. Okay, wrong. Okay, I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, ready? Last one down here is the, is the dominant chart, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll explain that. Okay, so here's what they showed on the crypto banter chart that was kind of confusing. I had to watch it three times, but here's what happened exactly in 2017, okay? So the exact same thing happened, the exact same dates. Once you get to, okay, I'll go back here real quick. Once you get to this date, October 31st, uh, 2017, is when you cross this line is when the uh, the total crypto market cap went above its all-time highs, okay? Remember that, total crypto market cap. So let me just show you, let me just show you on this chart, okay? So that will be, let's go to the total one, total chart, okay? So that will be right here when the total market cap gets to 2.6, uh, 2.57 trillion, okay? That is uh, approximately, I know I'm drawing lines here, guys, but this is really important. 9% uh, up from where we are right now. 9% move in the entire market. So if Bitcoin is gonna lead the way here, maybe Bitcoin will pump 10, 12%, and that actually makes perfect sense with what I think is gonna happen. So if you go to Bitcoin chart, right? If Bitcoin goes back to its all-time high at 64K, which I think it's headed there in October at some point, right? Seems like it's nothing's gonna stop it. We're gonna get an ETF, all that stuff. That would be a 13% move. And if we get there, we're definitely going to break this all-time high on the total market cap, okay? So that's a, that's really important because I've been telling you guys this is the most important line in crypto. So why? What's gonna happen? I'll show you, okay? This is what's gonna happen. Same thing that happened in 2017, okay? So when we break this line, when we break this line right here, okay, this is 10 days before this, so th so that's very important to know, okay? So let's follow this line down, okay? You guys with me? I know what this is, this is actually simpler than what they explained on Crypto Banter, but it makes sense. If you follow this line down, you come to right here on the Bitcoin dominance chart, okay? You see this? This is the Bitcoin dominance chart. What this means is that the second that we break that total market cap all-time high, our altcoins are going to get some relief. You see how there's a little dip here? You see this? That means that some money is gonna start moving into altcoins. Does that make sense? Okay, so right, the second that we break 2.57 trillion, which could be in a week, two weeks, I don't know. You just have to hold on for a few more few more days here. All of your altcoins are gonna to start to be looking really juicy, okay? They're gonna have some relief to them, okay? But I wanna show you exactly when they're going to explode and melt your face and make your tongue itch because it's so juicy, okay? When total two, total two is the key. Total two, as you can see, has a little bit further to go or in order to break its all-time highs. Instead of a 9% move, we need a 14% move in the total two, which is everything besides Bitcoin and Ethereum, or, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. No, everything besides Bitcoin. It, it, it needs a little bit more room to run to reach its all-time high, okay? That makes, that makes sense, right? But what happens when that happens? <laughs> what happens when that happens? So I'll show you right here. When it crosses this line, remember 10 days, this, in 2017 it took 10 days. We crossed the total market cap all-time high on the 31st of October, and 10 days later, we crossed the total two market cap all-time high. And look what happened. Look what happened to the altcoins. Literally parabolic. Literally parabolic. One of the most parabolic runs in the history of cryptocurrencies, okay? It took 10 days for that to happen. As you can see, Bitcoin took a minor dip and also continued up, which is good for Bitcoin, but also a little bit slower than the parabolic move here. And most importantly, Bitcoin dominance just fell through, fell through the floor. Does that make sense? Just went to zero, basically went down and, and never came back. It, it recovered a little and, and then crashed to zero. And that was, that was like years later, okay? So basically what I'm saying is you know exactly what is going to happen. I mean, it's eerily similar. People say history doesn't repeat. Eh, I don't know what to tell you. This is exactly like 2017. It couldn't be more similar. It's scary, it's freaky. This, this freaked me out when I saw this chart, okay? And so when we cross here, 
we are going to have the mother of all alt seasons. We're talking institutional capital being sloshed around with the most retail capital that has ever been here in the history of the world. There is more household income ready to blow onto this market, more money been generated in NFTs, more just money. It's a hot ball of juicy money. I hope you can tell how excited I'm getting here that is going to come pouring into your altcoins. And it's going to happen in about maximum, let's say the dates are the exact same. It's gonna happen in four weeks. Four weeks you're going to be exceedingly wealthy if you can just hold on to your altcoins. What could happen though is we get an ETF approval here because we didn't have an ETF in 2017, right? And that could happen, those deadlines are like the 18th of October. So if that happens, all of this is getting moved up, okay? This whole schedule got moved up. So you don't have time, in my opinion, and I am not, after I saw that video, I am not selling jack shiz niddly nibbles, okay? Because if you sell anything right now and we get an ETF approved, this whole, this whole thing is gonna play out, just like maybe a few days earlier, right? It's going, number one, it's gonna crack the all-time high on total. Then altcoins are gonna start to move. Then it's gonna crack the all-time high on total too, and then we're gonna have the mother of all alt seasons. Everything's gonna go up. Bitcoin's gonna go to 100K. All your, all your, any freaking altcoin that you have is gonna do a five, 10, 20, 30, 50X, okay? And these are the ones that I think are going to do even better, and I've explained these in my other videos, but that is basically what was, there was one more thing that I'm definitely forgetting from this. I don't know, if I think of it, I'll put it on Twitter, but I wanted to get my thoughts out onto the camera, guys. I hope you enjoyed this because there, mm, I, I, I made this channel because I felt bad for people that were, you know, just losing their money in crypto, getting taken advantage of. But at the same time, I'm a normal guy. You know, I, I have my money on the line here too. My future's on the line here too. And I've showed you guys very transparently what is on the line. And so when I see Bitcoin ripping and altcoins not ripping, it, it affects me deeply and I wanna make sure that I'm correct. After watching this video, I know that I'm correct. I know that I'm doing the right thing. I'm not moving a single thing. I'm literally going to, I'm not gonna, I'm not even kidding you. I did this earlier. I'm gonna lock myself out. So, so good luck. If anyone was thinking about robbing me or something, you can't rob me. It's impossible to rob me. I have locked myself out of my keys and I cannot touch these altcoins and I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not gonna touch these until the end of the bull run. So not only am I, I'm just protected for myself, I'm protected for anything. I am done trading until we until these things five to 10X. So you guys can ride along with me or not. If you wanna know what the coins are, come and follow them. You're welcome for the most, for the freaking best video on the internet right now for quarter four. This was the best video. I don't even know why you're subscribed to other, other channels. F, you're welcome. All right, see you next time, bye.